Not to convince us not to protest. This is what Redeem Church gave us today in church. Gary? It's the way he called Gary for me. <laughs> I said that Gary. Now, the thing is, I'm not going to be sitting here and, you know, saying it categorically like that, like this thing happened, okay? No. Because, see, on social media, don't believe everything you see on social media because this guy might be lying. Because let me tell you the truth. There are people that can, you know, apparently just stand up and create content and defame a particular church or even defame a pastor. I am not a redeemer. I don't attend redeemed church. You get the point. But I cannot say this thing this guy said is a lie or is true. But I can always say that what if this guy is just using this thing to create content? What if no redeemed church actually shared any Gary? Because in his video, he did not show anywhere the church was sharing Gary. The full video is in my phone, but I cannot put it out here because of copyright issues. But, you know, the the imagine him sh saying that the church actually shared Gary, but it, it did not show any part where they were sharing the Gary. It only showed inside the church and how the church is so designed a beautiful church you know, well fitted with AC and all that, we'll be sharing Gary, not even rice. So, according to him, this redeemed church, this particular parish, decided to share Gary to stop people from protesting because they know that people are hungry, and that's the reason why we decided to, like, you know, protest in Nigeria. And according to him, he was in church the other day, and he's a redeemer. According to him, he's a member of Redeemer, and that the pastor of that particular parish. They gather this Gary that is not even up to a bucket of Gary. Look at this Gary very well. It's not even up to a bucket. Maybe even half of half. Because a bucket of Gary is like 3,000 Naira. So maybe half of this bucket of Gary is 1,5. So is it 1,5 that you will use to, you know, shush or shut the mouths of Nigerians not to protest? What is even Gary? He did not even share rice. You get the point. And again, as I said, I don't know if this thing is true, so I will not categorically say it's true. But we saw it online, that's why I'm talking about it here, that if this thing, this guy is saying truly, truly happened in Redeem, if you're a Redeemer and you know that this thing really happened, you can put it under the comment section. Or if you don't feel like putting it, you can still work out and pass. Because <laughs> I know that sometimes, you know, sentiment, some people know that what the church did is wrong, but they will still not say it because it's their church. I get it. I get that part, and I'm going to respect you guys for that if you don't want to expose anything. But the truth of the matter is, I cannot believe that this kind of thing happened. But I just want to, you know, based on the facts, standing on the protocol for the fact that if this thing this man said is true, then seriously, I am ashamed of the church. I am ashamed eh, of the church calling themselves body of Christ. If you don't want people to protest, you could have done better. What's up with small Gary inside Black Lion? What's up? We are the ones against, you know, people going out to vote for, for politicians that come, you know, to lure us into protesting with 5,000 Naira, buying votes with 10,000 Naira, or coming with small Gary or small uh, bag of rice to say, come and vote for this party, come and vote for this party. And then after the, you know, all the campaign and after the elections, they, the politicians will not even look at the masses. The small Gary or small rice they gave to the masses that the masses ate exactly that day and it finished. Or maybe they gave the masses 5,000 Naira and it's finished that the, 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 the politicians would just go ahead and be squandering money without thinking of those masses that they thought, you know, they were coming to do as if they cared and was giving them money, gift and all that for voting for them. We are the ones against it. So why will a pastor even think of doing this? Because doing this is just like they are doing the same thing. Now, I am not here to come and say, oh, maybe the church is kind of like affiliated with, you know, with presidency because some person now might see this video and be thinking, they might be saying, okay, this man, whatever he's saying is right. Maybe the man created this particular content on his channel, right? Now, they might see this video and be like, he knows what he's saying, that actu actually the redeemed church is telling people not to protest because it's a Yoruba man that is in power. That's what they will be thinking. But me, I don't care. I don't, I don't give a fuck about it. I'm not going to come here and be thinking that, oh, because it's their tribe. No, let's forget tribalism here. Yeah. Let's remove tribe from this matter. Let's remove anything tribe from this matter. Don't talk about tribe right now because even the Yorubas are suffering. Igbos are suffering. Everybody else, all of us, we are suffering. Okay? So, coming out here to say, oh, is this tribe? That's why they are trying to stop pro protest. Now, like, I saw Yorubas that were ready to protest. So, if this pastor or any other pastor, because the thing, I'm not sure it happened with the, um, the main 
uh, overseer okay it's not the overseer like that said that thing i'm sure it's another branch pastor but no matter what if this pastor had said go ahead take this gary and not protest just know that the pastor is doing it on his own terms okay not because he has anything to do with presidency that's why i think maybe he's trying to say that oh as christian and um, as christians as children of god don't go out to the world with worldly people to create havoc destroy things on the street i know i know because right now let's say the truth even though they said peaceful protest but did you guys see things that were happening during the protest people were vandalizing things especially i saw two videos of northerners vandalizing um what do they call this traffic poles traffic lights you are vandalizing it this tra traffic light it's not the government that did it to make life easier for you guys the traffic lights you are seeing is made for us for life to be easy so that you know we can cross roads very well also when you are driving you know you can wait for the next car so that accidents will not happen you get the point on t-junctions you know this you you turn and all that so why are you destroying it at the end you are vandalizing things that you know are helping you i saw another video of i think in lagos people were you know destroying a supermarket like why i the really consign supermarkets consign protests that you could say you want to protest so you see maybe the pastor was coming from that particular aspect saying that please don't go and join the worldly people to destroy things so take this guy but the thing is that this particular redeemed church, if it was uh, maybe a smaller church that does not have money that share this gary, maybe the church, the highest money they have in their account, maybe it's two million naira. Maybe it's all these smaller upcoming churches. If they are giving their own fellow members gary, nobody for the reason now. But it's because this church, they have billionaires. In fact, even the pastor himself is a billionaire. He has a private jet. Even the other pastors, they are rich. So people automatically felt that the money this church make, this church at the school that is generating money, that the money the church is making, at least the church is supposed to give them at least 10 kg of rice. At least 10 kg, those small, small bag of rice, whether they sell like maybe 10,000, 20,000, you get. Maybe. You get the point. Because you see, he even put out a video inside that particular video where uh, this uh, this particular, uh, the, the overseer here said, um, if you have up to one billion naira, come and sow a seed. Come and come and meet the secretary and sow a seed in the house of God. That you want ten people that can bring ten billion naira, meaning that the church is very rich. And I know where the anger of the the person, the, the guy, is coming from. But what if this thing is not true? What if it never happened? So that's what I'm going to come. I'm I'm saying that I'm not categorically saying that it happened. Okay, until proven otherwise, then maybe I can come here and tell you that that story was true. But this guy did not show anywhere he was in the church or where he was vlogging. Why didn't he vlog or video or a snippet of where they were giving him the rice and he was in the church? Why didn't he video small? He took the gary, he took it home, and then decided to sit down and make a video. For what reasons? Why didn't you make the video in church there where, where you know that at least we'll see the, the church, we'll see the people, we'll know that oh, this one is redeemed church. You get that's the way it could have been, but no, it did not show any of that. Okay, so I can only say that I did not believe the story <laughs> until proven otherwise. Anyway, guys, please do well to subscribe to the channel. Subscription is free, as I always say. Okay, subscription is totally free. Just click the subscribe button. Okay, bye for now, guys.